the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 185, 2 Kings chapter 18, verses 13 to 37, and Isaiah 36. Hezekiah in the bird cage. When the field command of the Assyrian army who surrounded Jerusalem with his troops blasphemed God, Hezekiah was determined to trust God only. First point, the prophets proclaimed that South Judah would not be able to maintain a kingdom of priests if they made alliances with their surrounding countries. North Israel and South Judah made numerous alliances with their surrounding countries. First, North Israel's king Menahem made an alliance with Assyria in order to strengthen his own military power. Later, North Israel's king Pekah made an alliance with Aram's king Rezin. South Judah was also offered to join the alliance against Assyria. When South Judah refused, North Israel and Aram attacked South Judah and this led to Assyria attacking North Israel and Aram. As for South Judah, King Ahaz made an alliance with Assyria. This was in order to make protection against Aram and North Israel. Later, King Hezekiah made an alliance with Egypt. This, however, provided Assyria with the justification to invade South Judah. Second point. When Senna Cherub of Assyria attacked the first time round, Hezekiah scraped the gold from the Jerusalem temple and offered it as a tribute. King Senna Cherub of Assyria, who conquered North Israel and Aram, finally revealed his clothes and came to attack South Judah. During the sixth year of Hezekiah's reign in South Judah, Assyria struck down North Israel. The Assyrian Empire ignored the alliance they had made with King Ahaz, and during the fourteenth year of Hezekiah, they came to South Judah and took more than 200,000 people as their captives and conquered 46 of their cities. Now one domain was the Jerusalem Temple. King Senna Cherib made the following request. So Hezekiah, king of Judah, sent this message to the king of Assyria at Lakish. I have done wrong. Withdraw from me, and I will pay whatever you demand of me. The king of Assyria exacted from Hezekiah, king of Judah, 300 talents of silver and 30 talents of gold. Previously, Hezekiah made an alliance in order to prepare for Assyria's attack. Despite Isaiah's warning, Hezekiah wavered between anti-Assyria and pro-Egypt. This proved to have been pointless. When things started to look like a dead end, Hezekiah followed in his father Ahaz's footsteps. The first was to write a pitiful letter to the Assyrian king. The second was to offer gold and silver that was stored in the palace. But Hezekiah was unable to make 30 pieces of gold that he had to scrape gold from the Jerusalem temple. We can see just how bad the financial situation was during this time. We can see this all the more if we compare it to David's day. David gave Solomon a million pieces of silver and 100,000 pieces of gold to prepare for the temple. He furthermore offered 3,000 pieces of gold to God for the temple, and his people offered a further 5,000 pieces of gold. Thus, the Jerusalem temple at this time was dripping in gold. But all this gold had gone after 200 years, and now it was harder to make 30 pieces. Third point, despite receiving the gold, 
from the Jerusalem temple, Saint Nacherib nevertheless attacked Jerusalem the way he attacked Samaria. Despite receiving the gold, the Assyrian king still sent 185,000 men to Jerusalem and started to attack. Assyria, who had used three years to conquer North Israel, wanted to speed things up. And so they sent their most able commander of the field. This man was a linguist who knew how to speak Assyrian, Aram, and also the language of South Judah. He started to lure the people of South Judah into surrendering. First point, Sennacherib's field commander rebuked God despite having no knowledge about God. The commander of the field of the Assyrian army not only mocked the people of South Judah, but also God. He publicly ridiculed Hezekiah's religious reformation and used the universal language at the time to cause chaos. When the people of South Judah understood, they proposed a conversation. But the field commander started to mock God even further. His words were indeed disgusting. Clearly, he had no idea that some time ago, God had sent Jonah to Nineveh in order to save them. He knew nothing about the history of his own country, but with his stupid words, he tried to create chaos. The Assyrian Empire believed that they could blur the boundaries of the countries and make it theirs. They did not believe that all boundaries were God's. God used Assyria as a tool for his management of the world, and God was not about to hand South Judah to them. Assyria was too arrogant to know this. Fifth point, Hezekiah commanded all to be silent in response to Assyria's field commander's rebuke. When the field commander's words continued, Hezekiah told his people to ignore him. However, he himself had a hard time swallowing this, and so he started to head somewhere. He finally made way into the temple and decided to ask God. The content of 2 Kings chapter 18 verses 13 to 20 to chapter 19 is similar to Isaiah chapters 36 to 39. The small difference is in Isaiah chapter 38 that records Hezekiah's prayer. Two Chronicles records a brief summary of this event. Thus, it is easier to read the history books and the prophet books in chronological order and through Tong. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.